Hello friends, in this session I'll be taking up some questions from the topic of relational algebra and in this particular video session I'll be dealing with the question uh, which comes from the queries section of relational algebra. So I'll be taking up a question from queries basically and this question has come in gate 2014 and it, it is a two mark question which had come uh, at that time. So let's just study the question first and then we'll look upon the solution. Now the question is, consider the relational schema given below where EID of the dependent table, basically there are two tables employing dependent table. So EID of the dependent is a foreign key referring to the EMP ID of the relational employee, which means that employee ID, EMP ID is a primary key. Therefore, I am underlining it. And this EID is a foreign key. So it is referring to this. Fine. Uh, assume that every employee has at least one dependent in the dependent relation. Okay, so that means there is at least one association over here. And since EID is a foreign key, so we will say that EID is a subset of EMP ID. Right, because we know that the foreign key of one table is always the subset of the primary key of the table it is referring to. Right. So this we have, then we move on to the query given to our, uh, given to us in the question. So first of all, you should always note down the indirect things which are given in the question. Like I just wrote this over here and I marked this primary key over here. So it always helps while solving the question. So the query is pi of m pi d. Now what this pi means? Pi is a projection operator. So, we are basically projecting the MP IDs. I am just extracting out this column of MP IDs from our employee table. Minus pi of MP ID and then there is some inner query in this. What is that inner query? First, let, let's just look upon that. It says that employee inner join with dependent where MP ID is equals to EID and. Now, this signifies that it is a inner join and it is a equal join okay and it says and emp age is less than equals to deploy uh, dependent age right so that means we have two conditions to meet over here first the employee id is equals to eid this is basically a check between the employees we are referring to so it just says that the employee should have come from this employee table that means uh, it signifies this Thing. and uh, the other thing is that employee's age should be less than equals to this dependent's age fine so over here what we are doing is we are basically finding those employees in this particular part we are basically finding those employees whose age whose age is less than their dependent's age now this means that we are searching for those subset of records in which in which the employee's age is less than dependent's age. Now why I am stressing upon this fact is I do not mean that that particular employee cannot have a dependent whose age might be more than that employee's age. Now I'll explain this again with an example and you'll get a uh, better clarity of this concept. But for now, just think upon this that an employee can have two dependents, one with an age more than him and one with an age more than uh, less than him. So over here, this query subpart basically aims to find out that entry in which the dependents age is less than the employee's age, right? So, if this part is clear, then what is this part doing? This is just subtracting these results from here. So, that means I will be having some employee IDs which will not be obeying this relation, right? So, let's just quickly look upon an example and then figure out the solution. So, uh, this example basically in such questions the best method is just form a generalized example and then see what kind of results you are getting in the output. So with this example over here I have basically taken two employees with two, empl uh, two employees with distinct employee IDs 1 and 2 over here right. So the employee ID 1 
with this imp age 30 this employee has an age 30 and he has a, a dependent with age 35 right then again i've taken the same employee with a dependent of age less than this right so it is 26 over here then i take another employee who has the dependents with age or who has both the dependents with age less than him then let's say i take another employee over here with imp id 3 and let's say his age is 25 right and its dependents both the dependents have age more than him fine so we have taken we have considered all the three cases over here in which we i am considering either all the dependents have ages more than the employee either all the dependents have ages less than the employee or there is an employee who has a dependent whose age is more than him and in one of the cases the age is less than him right now let me uh, apply my query onto it. Now my query, this part says, first of all I find those entries in which M page is less than equals to dip, uh, dip page. Right. So those entries are, over here M page is less than the dip page. So this is one of those entries. Over here, this is more than this. This is also more than this. This is also more than this. This is less than this. And this is less than this. Right. Then what do we do? We we basically project the emp IDs from here. So the emp IDs from here will be 1 and 3. So the emp IDs are 1 and 3 over here. So let me just write them over here. I have 1 and 3 in this set. And this is basically subtracted from the complete set of from the complete set of emp IDs. The complete set is what? 1, 2 and 3. So 1, 2 and 3. So if I subtract 1, 2, if I subtract 1 and 3 from 1, 2 and 3, I'll be left with the MP ID 2, which is this employee. Now let's just analyze his condition. Now his condition is he's his both the dependents have age less than him. Right? So we are up with the solution. Now we'll just match the options. So we have four options and the option D matches with our result, which says that all of his or her dependents have age less than his age. He says that uh, the above query evaluates to the set of the employees whose age is greater than that of all of his or her dependents. So the answer is D part. Right. Now, if we just analyze it logically, then also you can figure out the same solution if you don't want to do it with an example. So that is because over here we subtracted all such records in which the employee's age was less than their dependent's age. So we subtracted all such employees basically in which the employee's age was less than the dependent's age. So the employees left are the ones whose age is always more than their dependencies so that's all for this question uh, hopefully you've got some uh, you would have got some important information in this video and i'll be taking up some more questions on relational algebra so please keep following the channel for more upcoming videos and good work coming up thank you